US for a missile attack on Crimea, the Pentagon claimed that Ukraine makes its own targeting decisions and conducts its own military operations. According to Russia's defence ministry, Ukraine used Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACOMS, rockets, and they were supplied and programmed by the US. The ministry claimed that four of the rockets were intercepted over the city of Sevastopol, but fragments from the fifth rocket led to casualties among civilians on the ground. The strike left at least four people dead and more than 150 injured. Russia's foreign ministry has summoned the US ambassador Lynn Tracy over the attack. In the meeting, Moscow reiterated that Washington bears equal responsibility with Kyiv for the attack and formally warned of a retaliation. Thereafter, in a statement, the US State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said, the country lamented any civilian loss of life. We provide weapons to Ukraine so it can defend its sovereign territory against armed aggression. Uh, that includes in Crimea, which of course is part of Ukraine. And Russia could stop this war today and end the suffering caused by the war Russia launched today if it would stop its occupation of sovereign uh, Ukrainian territory and stop launching attacks on civilians. Meanwhile, Russia also accused the United Nations of double standards. We do not deliberately target any, any civilian, uh, civilian infrastructure in Ukraine. Only that, that infrastructure that relates to, to the uh, military industrial complex of Ukraine. We do not bomb cities. We do not bomb civilians. Uh, so that's it. We, we, we are not doing what, what Israel is doing in Gaza. A day after the attack on Crimea, a Russian double-tap missile attacked the Ukrainian town of Pokrovsk. At least five people were killed and 41 others were injured in what Kyiv said was one of the largest attacks on civilians. As tensions on the battlefield continue to escalate, Ukrainian President Zelensky replaced Kyiv's commander of joint forces. Zelensky appointed Brigadier General Andriy Hanatov as commander-in-chief, replacing Lieutenant General Yuri Sodok. The Ukrainian president has ordered the new head of Ukraine's security service, or the SBU, to clear out those not committed to Ukraine and who discredit the agency. This is not the first time. In January 2024, Zelensky fired a slew of senior officials, including five regional governors, four deputy ministers and a senior presidential office member.